It's been a while since I last updated my prayer board. So today I wanted to take you along this journey with me as I set up my prayer wall for 2023. And whilst we're here, I also wanted to chat about what is a prayer wall, how do you create one, and some different ways of going about this and why I think it can be so helpful in our prayer lives. So let's start with what a prayer board or a prayer wall even is. So maybe you've heard of a prayer wall or a prayer board or a prayer blah, or a prayer closet or even a whole prayer room. So I first came across this concept through the film War Room where it talks about this woman who has a whole, I think it's her closet, it's been a long time since I watched that film, but I think it's like a closet or a, quite a big space where she dedicates that space to praying and she uses the space to allow her to pray and to help her pray. And the general idea of this, or at least in my understanding, how I think it can be used is it's a place or a space that you use to dedicate to prayer and to really help you pray. And usually this is done in some kind of physical or visual way. So there's something tangible there for you to either look at or to kind of interact with in some way. And in that way, I think it's particularly helpful for those who learn in a visual way and like to be able to look at something in order to think about it. People who that helps them to focus. So how can we go about doing this? Because not everyone has a whole kind of closet spare to just dedicate and use in this way as much as we might like to. So some other ways I think we can do this is to put post-it notes around our mirror or another place like that that we visit on a regular basis and can look at each time we do a particular habit or a particular time we go to that place. So I think mirror does work really well for this one, whether it's while we're doing makeup or brushing our teeth or shaving or whatever it is that we do in the morning or the evening, getting ready for the day and just looking in the mirror and seeing these prayers all around the mirror. Or you could use your fridge or your radiator or some other kind of magnetic space that you have where you can use magnets to pin up your prayers and use that as your prayer wall. If you want something more digital, maybe you could create a visual collage on Canva or however you'd like to create it and then use it maybe as your phone background or your laptop background, somewhere where you're gonna see it on your regular basis. Maybe if you're tight on space, you could hang a washing line up somewhere in your house and then peg prayers to that washing line. However you do this, I think some of the key factors within how we create a prayer wall is that we want to have something visual, something that we can see and look at. We want it to be somewhere where we're going to see it on a regular basis so it can remind us to pray and it can help us to really focus on prayer as a regular part of our life. We also want something I think that we can change, that we can add prayers to and take things away or tick things off once those prayers have been answered and just be able to kind of continually add to this. It's not a static thing that stays the same, but it can change and adapt and grow as the things that we're praying for change. So the two prayer walls that I am using this year, the first one is in my bullet journal. So this is a spread that I have that's split into eight different sections and I can add my prayer requests and things I'm praying for into that. This one, I can't necessarily take things away, but I do tick them off when that thing is answered or kind of dealt with in some way. I can mark off and kind of think about how God has answered that prayer, but I can continually add to this. And if I wanted to, I could add in post-it notes onto this spread as well to kind of add things. And the other things that I like to use are notice boards. So I have two notice boards, one that's kind of like an old whiteboard that doesn't really work anymore and one pin board. And I use these as I can hang them in different places around my house. We rent so I don't usually put them on a wall but I can hang them to a bookcase or something like that so they're up on a wall kind of out of the way but in places where I can see them on a regular basis as well as continually adding things and taking things away and updating them as I have more things I want to pray for. So let's get to updating my prayer boards. So this is what my prayer boards currently look like. They're a bit of a state, as you can see, they're kind of just a bit of a mess and lots of things have fallen off or just got a bit messy. To start with, I'm gonna take everything off of my prayer boards for now. I'm gonna leave the kind of washing line effect on this prayer board and just get everything either unpinned or unpegged and away. So the next thing I want to do now that I've got this blank slate is to think about the scriptures that I want to be praying and write them out and add them onto my prayer board. So 
these are a mixture of scriptures that are particularly standing out to me at the moment that I think God is pointing me towards as well as scriptures that I believe are particularly speaking into situations that I'm going through at the moment so therefore want to be praying over. Another thing I like to include on my prayer board is photos so I'm not going to show too many photos at the moment just for people's privacy so this is usually photos of people that I want to be praying for. Next up I often add kind of postcards or different objects, memories, uh, tickets, whatever I have that reminds me of or points me towards praying for different situations. So this can look really different. It could be uh, a little note that I've received from someone or it could be like a pipe cleaner model that we used in a church service to pray for something and it reminds me of that. It could literally be anything. This is a very miscellaneous section. And then lastly, if there isn't anything in particular that is reminding me to pray for something, you can always just write it on a piece of paper and attach that. So this is where I add in some other prayer requests. And this is kind of a very simple way of doing this, just adding them on and pinning them onto my prayer board. And this is the bit that I can continually be adding to and filling this up. There's always more space. And when you're thinking about what to include on your prayer board, you can think about the situations that you are going through, that your family is going through, that are happening in the world, on the news, all of those kind of things. And also take some time to pray over what God wants you to include on your prayer board. There's a song that has the lyrics, break my heart for what breaks yours. And I think that's a really great model for us to use when we're praying and ask God to break our heart for the things that break his heart. So basically asking him, what does he care about? And can he make us care about those things too so that we can be praying for them, if that makes sense. But hopefully that will give us some guidance over the kind of things that we can include on our prayer board. And so here we have my finished prayer boards. So do you use a prayer wall or a prayer board or even have a prayer room in your house? Do let us know down in the comments what you like to include on yours. But we hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe found it helpful for setting up your own prayer wall in 2023. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me and Arnold. We create videos every Saturday encouraging Christian families to pray creatively and confidently. And we will see you very soon for a new video. Bye!